We have uh, <coughs> made politics a total turnoff. When I was 16 through 30 almost, and I saw something in my world that upset me or made me want to get involved, I never even thought about political parties. I didn't. It, was, it just looked like a bunch of old guys yelling on TV, screaming at one another, and not relevant to my life. And so when we were having uh, problems with the nuclear industry, which I have some problems with the nuclear industry, I didn't join a party to voice my uh, beliefs. I went and talked to an environmental group. In the neighborhood I grew up in in Toronto, there was all of a sudden it seemed like there were tons of people living on the street, way more than before. I didn't join a political party to do something about it. We went down and volunteered at the food bank. Right? There's not a, the connection's been broken. There used to be a connection, believe it or not, between being involved in politics and changing your world for the better. Your voice is powerful when you want something. Well, you want something more than sugared cereal now, right? You want a future, you want a job, you want an environment where you're not going to worry about it. Your, your voice in the political realm is disproportionately powerful to your numbers. You know why? Because most politicians are terrified of you guys. They don't know what you're thinking. And they think that your thoughts might change from day to day. You're not locked in with your way of viewing the world. That's a scary thing to political parties. It's a scary thing to governments. It's a scary thing to parties. Your, your voice is incredibly powerful if you choose to use it, if you know what it is that you want in the world. I suspect you know some of the things that you want. For the last 15 years in Canada, students leaving post-secondary education, college and university, have been leaving with on average $1,000 more debt than the year before. For 15 years, the debt for the average student leaving university and college has been going up by 1,000. So 15 years ago, the average was 10,000 bucks in the hole, right? It's now $25,000 in the hole, and the trend is continuing on. You guys are getting a life debt sentence by just going to school. So unless you're rich, or think you're going to have a great life without post-secondary education, the system isn't working for you right now. I did a quick survey when I first got elected, because I was a younger MP, I was 31 years old. And I stood up in the House of Commons with the 300 politicians and I said, show of hands, who else in here has got a student debt? Who else in here has got a student loan? And I was it. The people in politics don't necessarily understand the reality that is facing you and understand the reality of when you come out of school, what is it that you want to do? And we, we got to change that. We just elected a whole bunch of young MPs from Quebec. Thank God. Thank God. The people that were in university and just finished university are actually coming back in now, into Parliament and raising their voices, and it's a beautiful thing. The most connected generation ever. And the job for people like me is to somehow convince people like you that getting involved can make a difference. And that when those decisions get made in your parliament and in your legislature in Quebec City, that they're going to be decisions that help you, not hurt you.